All right, today we're going to look at a um, arpeggio, six string arpeggio. You could use in your two octave uh, scale kind of format. Let's say if you know you're playing in the key E A, you're playing the key right here, fifth position. And you can use your, the scale like, you can use this particular arpeggio like this. Key V. So there you go, you get the example. How I'm doing this is, um, we'll, we'll look at it in the key V. And what I'm doing is, starting from your root note, okay, you hit your root here, then you're gonna hit your minor third on the same string, 15th fret, so we start at 12th fret, 15th fret. We're going to our next string, which is your fifth tone, and that's done on your 14th fret, finishing on the E note, uh, not finishing, but halfway through on our E note on uh, our um, fourth string, 14th fret. So here's what we just did. Okay, so I would, I use alternate picking on string six. I went down, up, and then the rest, we're gonna go with all down strokes, okay? Now what I did, it's good if, if you can roll your finger a little bit to eliminate the fifth string from sounding out. A tough one to do. Sometimes when I do these, the fifth string rings out. So what, you know, I let it go because it's, it's kind of hard to roll your finger if you're playing fast. So here's what we got. Now we're gonna switch to the first finger on string three, 12th fret. So all of these three notes are all gonna be a 12th fret. Now another way to keep notes from ringing out is slightly muting. So here we go, we're gonna hit this note again. Now we're gonna switch over to uh, string three, first finger. Now as you play these, you can do a little muting here with your right hand, a slight mute, but also roll your finger like this. Roy, you can show this on this uh, uh, first finger here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that note and kind of difficult thing to do. So, um, but it, it helps to keep the other notes from ringing out. Um, give it a try. Uh, to be honest with you, it's pretty hard. I don't have it perfect, and I got it good enough to make me happy so that each note does sound single. But so here, let's take a look at it. That's basically what we got going on here now. So now as you come, as you go down in pitch, and you do it all upstrokes, Once again, you gotta kinda roll your finger in such a way to stop the other notes from ringing out. A very difficult thing to do, and um, you just gotta practice at it. So here's what we got. All right, and so now, um, fast. Now, um, the you're p hitting each note is just one note per string, except for string six. To obtain this uh, a third uh, minor third tonality, you have to you have to hit it like that. Now, because see, here's your third tone here, fifth tone, root. So, um, luckily, you don't you don't have to uh, do any alternate picking on the upper strings there, just on this first string here. I mean, your bottom string, string number six. Okay, a great way uh, to uh, enhance your solos. Okay, now also, you can just use the upper part of it, the uh, uh, first four strings. Um, here's your root note, so you can do something like this. So it's a great, another great way for it to start a solo. So anyway, so there you go, there you have it. It's a six string arpeggio and it mixed with a four string arpeggio. Okay, so this one is a one octave situation, a two octave situation. Uh, a great thing to practice, a great way to enhance your solos and so that you're not always playing the, you know, the same six string or uh, five string arpeggio. Now uh, you can mix it, up, mix it up with this one as well. Uh, practice, practice, uh, this one's a tough one. So uh, work hard on it and you will get it. And uh, like I say, practice till your fingers hurt. Take a break, practice some more. Subscribe to our videos, two free videos right now every week until February, three free videos every week. Have a great day.